Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the solubility of alcohols in water. You should then be able to describe how alcohols react with sodium and then with an oxidizing agent. And finally you should be able to balance equations for the combustion of alcohols. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. We're going to start by looking at the solubility of alcohols in water. Alcohols are soluble in water and they form neutral solutions. As the number of carbon atoms increases, the solubility decreases. OK, the first reaction we're going to look at is with sodium. I'm showing you here the reaction of ethanol with sodium. In this reaction, we see bubbles of hydrogen gas being produced. We've also made the product sodium ethoxide. I'm showing you here how the other alcohols react with sodium. And again, you can see that they all react in the same way. OK, the next reaction we're going to look at is with oxidizing agents. I'm showing you ethanol reacting with an oxidizing agent here. A good example of an oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate. When alcohols react with oxidizing agents, they produce a carboxylic acid and water. In the case of ethanol, we've made ethanoic acid. I'm showing you here the reactions of methanol, propanol and butanol with an oxidizing agent. And again, you can see that in each case, we produce a carboxylic acid. I should point out that I'll be looking at carboxylic acids in more detail in my next video. Now, as we saw in the last video, the alcohols are often used as fuels, so we're going to look at the combustion of alcohols now. Alcohols release energy when combusted, and I'm showing you the combustion of ethanol here. Combusting an alcohol in air produces carbon dioxide in water. As you can see, this equation isn't balanced. In the exam, you could be asked to balance an equation like this. We've seen how to balance combustion equations in a previous video. We start by balancing the carbon atoms. On the left hand side, we've got two carbon atoms in the ethanol, but on the right hand side, we've only got one carbon atom in the carbon dioxide. This means that we need two carbon dioxide molecules on the right hand side, like this. So now the carbon atoms are balanced. Next, we balance the hydrogen atoms. On the left hand side, we've got six hydrogen atoms but on the right hand side we've only got two. This means that we need three water molecules on the right hand side like this. Now we have six hydrogen atoms on the right hand side. So now that we've balanced the carbon and the hydrogen atoms, we can balance the oxygen atoms. On the right hand side we've got four oxygen atoms in the carbon dioxide and we have three oxygen atoms in the water. So we've got a total of seven oxygen atoms on the right hand side. We need to get seven oxygen atoms on the left hand side. We've already got one oxygen atom in the ethanol molecule, so that means that we need three molecules of oxygen like this. Now we've got seven oxygen atoms on the left hand side and the equation is balanced. Here's one for you to try. Balance this equation for the combustion of butanol. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, on the left hand side we've got four carbon atoms and ten hydrogen atoms. This means that on the right hand side we can make four carbon dioxide molecules and five water molecules like this. Now the carbon and hydrogen atoms are balanced. On the right hand side we've got 13 atoms of oxygen in total. We need to get 13 atoms of oxygen on the left hand side. We've already got one atom of oxygen in the butanol molecule. This means that we need six molecules of oxygen like this. Now we've got 13 atoms of oxygen on the left hand side and the equation is balanced. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the reactions of alcohols in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.